Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorn. So I want to say welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support, the huge support. I'm sending all of you guys love and light, positive energies. I'm wishing you all the best. Please just stay calm, stay grounded. It is a wonderful time for you guys. This week is going to be a positive week because it's the Energy Vibration, the Zodiac Energy of the Heart. Please stay positive and know that whatever was meant for you is going to be for you. Okay, it's a week of a judgment, it's a week of judgment, and this is the sixth um, reading that I'm doing. And you have so many um, major arcanists that are coming out in this week to work with you. You are the only one that has so much major arcanists. You have the magician. You have the eye princess you have the queen of cups in this week you have the empress you have the emperor the empress and the El emperor you have the knight of cups and you have the queen of sword whatever is happening in the weekend you have a cups energy a water energy and a hair energy there is a situation in the weekend that is going to affect you because whoever these people are this can be um, your kids that is bringing their partner there is a situation but this whole week is the Queen of Cups is the week of the Queen of Cups so whatever is happening um, you are going to have an effect of either someone who is working with you who was on this earthly plane that was uh, and um, Pisces a cancer or a scorpion whoever this person it was a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion whatever that was happening but in this week you're going to feel the energy of the hangman you are in the energy of the hangman I love this card I love this hangman you can see a cross he's protected while he is in trying to regain balance so whatever is happening your spirit guides and this is what it's saying as you look at that cross hanging from the tree above him uh, that whatever is happening you're in this uh, um, space in your life and whatever is happening you're being spiritually protected and you Capricorns who have had someone who is was a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion that has passed over and is in the spirit world is going to be protecting you this is a powerful reading because this doesn't happen that often and why is this reading so powerful you have the magician starting the week on Monday on Tuesday you have the eye princess on Wednesday um, you have the Queen of Cups on Thursday you have the Empress on Friday you have the Emperor and on Saturday so there is something powerful that is going on in this week and I'm asking the angels and guides show me what is working with the magician what is working with the eye princess what is working with the queen of cup who is the queen of cup Ooh. what is working with this empress the king of cups what is working with it the moon the six of cups wonderful things are happening for you people okay let's go deeper in your reading to see what's your numbers what numbers is going to affect you the ace of coins is here so money so whatever is happening this queen of cups is going to represent you with money you Capricorn so whoever this queen of cups is going to represent you with monies um some of you will be deciding to leave an organization a situation or something uh, it could be you be deciding to leave a, um, a situation a work situation that doesn't vibrate anymore the nine of Pentacles whoever this knight of Pentacles is uh, um, you are protecting them or they are protecting you okay whatever is happening this nine of Pentacles and it could be your child protecting you spiritually or you protecting your child spiritually or your child is trying to protect you on the outside whatever is happening the energy of judgment is the energy of the week and it comes back on Monday okay so something good news and that good news is as if the magician is bringing you good news so let's look at this because I was looking at the energy um, 
you'll be working with a lot of major arcanas are coming up for you guys because there is so much major arcanas and people that you are going to be working with and this is good you have six there is absolutely no real numbers for you guys because you're working with the major arcanas on Monday what do you have on Monday but you have the energy of the magician the energy of the magician comes in with the energy of judgment okay the energy of the magician comes in with the energy of judgment what is that it's going to be news coming at you this is good news whatever the magician is going to show you how you can manifest something in your life that you weren't aware of so good news is coming in this is going to be positive to whatever is going on in your life it's as if the magician is going to come in and show you something on Tuesday you have the energy of the eye princess this is a spiritual day on Tuesday it's as if somehow you're going to be meeting someone the two of cups and connecting with this person this is a love affair a love relationship you're going to be and this could be someone who's a cancer you're going to be on Tuesday meeting with a cancer this person really likes you whoever you are but you are so focused on your work and whatsoever you're doing but this person really do truly likes you um it's as if um the eye princess the universal angels are bringing you two together for a reason which you are not aware but you know that this person came in your life at least you call upon this person this person is here it is a cancer it can be a cancer for some people it can be a pisces for some people it can be uh, a scorpion but I'm feeling the energy vibration of the Kansas and the Capricorns uh, connecting on Tuesday somehow you're connecting on Tuesday okay so this is good it can be in business for some people it can be just in um, relationship friendship what is crowned in your week is the week of the Queens of Cup this can be you um, vibrating the energy of the Queens of Cup which is a nurturing energy with psychic uh, touch of it but it can also be someone who is from out the spiritual realm to, and this is what I'm seeing because I'm seeing that it's the universal angels and beam it's as if there was someone that was a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio that has passed away this could be your mother grandmother or whoever your spirit guides are but they're using the energy of water the psychic to come in and they're connecting with you via the, the psychic and they're protecting you so it's going to be a week a powerful healing week where you are being protected by the spiritual angels and you have the ace of Pentacles so they are going to be bringing you money and a lot of money new beginning new healing in your materialistic world is coming in so whoever this cancer is she is going to bring you to a place it's as if it says at your your own your work she's going to open up huge doors of opportunities for you at your work i'm getting this if you have a, a um a cancer person who's your boss or whoever she is she's going to open up new doors of opportunity at your work if it's in business and this person wants to connect with you in business they are going to open up new doors of opportunity that makes money come in your life she's going to heal a situation and open up new doors she's going to help you to make money flow in your life and bring back an heal your financial situation okay so it's a wonderful week because whoever this Queen of Cups is whether she's a Cancer or she is a, a Pisces or a Scorpion, she's going to open up um, situations for you in your life. As we move forward on Thursday, we have the energy of the Empress. This is your day, you Capricorn. Thursday is going to be your day. Um, whatever is happening with you, Capricorns, uh, you, if you have a relationship with someone who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or Pisces a cancer or a scorpion this is going to be a wonderful day the stars day is going to be powerful because you Capricorns this is going to be a positive day if you're looking for a relationship you're going to meet someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion it is good to connect with this person because they really love you it's a true powerful relationship that is going on here whoever this person is whether in business and in love you're going to connect with this person this is someone this is people who are married to each other and have this wonderful relationship this relationship is going to grow to something positive okay so do not end this relationship it is a good relationship on a Friday we have the energy on Friday we have the energy of the Empress 
on a Friday we have the energy of the Empress the Empress the energy of the Empress came in on Friday and that whenever this comes in it has to do with your work whatever the situation that is happening at your work you have the six of cups some people are going to think about walking away from your work do not make that decision let, let me ask the question first before I said don't make this decision some people are going to think about walking away from your work walking away from a boss or a situation but whatever is happening think about it before you make this decision okay I don't think it's the right decision to make and I'm going to ask um, what is the message um, on Friday about your work situation um, for the Capricorns the first week of September what is happening work situations should they walk away shouldn't they walk away on Friday the 8th should they walk away or shouldn't they walk away on Friday the 8th okay no don't walk away mm -mm. no 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 don't walk away uh -uh. you're thinking about it but don't do it people nope no 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 whatever is happening don't do it don't do it you are thinking about to walk away from your work don't do it because you have the energy of your work um, the book and people like you people wants you people don't want you to walk away okay whatever is happening on Friday you're going to think about walking away from your work don't do it and I am showing you this you have the organization you have a message and there are people who really care about you they're good friends in that organization they're people who don't want you to walk away and don't walk away because obviously they're going to try and open up doors for you okay so on Friday you're thinking about to leave a situation an organization behind and they're saying no don't do it so let's let's look deeper to see what messages because obviously is your work and um, there is a message um, teacher profession you're very good okay so on Friday you are thinking about to leave your work don't do it because they see a potential in you which you're not seeing in yourself they are seeing a potential your teacher they are seeing a potential in you do not walk away okay because they're they're seeing something they're seeing that you have something that you know it's as if they realize that this person have something this person intelligent you're intelligent you're very professional but they're friends with secrets and you're shy but yet still you know you're intelligent you're shy and they see a potential in you do not walk away whatever is happening around you whatever chaos is being around you at your work don't walk away because the higher ups your boss people at in higher position are seen that you have something and they want to use you and in a good way in a good way this is in a good way they this is really really in a good way so whatever is happened don't walk away from your work whatever you're thinking about on Friday to, to leave no don't don't just just bite it out okay we say bite it out okay we're looking at Saturday and you have a connection with the Knight of Cups who is the Knight of Cups this could be someone who you're protecting yourself from or someone you're protecting this knight of cups could be a child your child this knight of cups can also come up with the energy someone between the ages of 18 and 35 this knight of cups is here he says he can be protecting you or you are protecting him okay but this knight of cup come up and um, um, the nine of ones is as if he is protecting you or you are protecting him in the spiritual world so this is can, can be a child this can be people who are in a relationship whether this knight of cups is he is good he's honest he wants to protect you he loves you okay on Saturday on Sunday we have the Queen of Swords and the page of cups okay the Queen of Swords 
All right, what I'm getting is that whoever the Queen of Swords is, she's coming with you with the cup of love, and you're looking and thinking, should I really believe this woman? <laughs> okay, whatever is happening, this page of cup, uh, this um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Sagittarian person is coming with a message of love, and you're wondering, yeah, should you know, really? Uh, okay, but she's a queen so it's an adult you know forgive whatever the situation was but you know don't forget whatever you do don't forget forgive whatever the situation is but don't forget okay because whatever the situation is this person came into your life to teach you a lesson a valuable lesson and you know open up your heart to this person you know maybe you felt hurt because of something that this person did but open up your heart to this person you can let her in but to you know you hold your guard up at all times okay and you're saying why should I let her in but yet still hold my guard up at all times because we need to forget and we need to forgive people and if someone is um, expressing love to you, you need to express back the love if you feel the same way. Maybe there was just a situation that there was a misunderstanding or someone, because you can't let ask people to do things for you. You have to understand that people have their own energy vibration, and these sword people, they will swing with whatever wherever the wind goes. If she swing with love, then swing back with love, honey. Okay, that's all I can say right now, because. If I go deeper down in this thing, you know, it's going to be. But whatever is happening, whoever this Knight of Cups is, which is someone between the ages of 18 and 21, on Saturday, he's really protecting you. It's, it can be a child protecting you and you spiritually protecting that child and the child spiritually protecting you. Whatever is happening. The energies of these water sign people are really here because one is here on Tuesday with the Two of Cups. One is here on Thursday, the King of Cups, which is a partner, a husband-wife relationship. It's a positive one. Um, the Queen of Cups is here that is protecting you in this whole week, which could be someone from the spiritual realms, whatever, whoever that person is. She is going to make sure you have the financial security that you need to have in your life. To be honest, this week is really a positive week for you guys. And I'm saying to you, whoever you are out there, do not walk away from this job. This was given to you because people in, at your work, people um, higher ups are seeing that there is something good that you have. So do not be frustrated because obviously a current a energy has created chaos for you do not walk away stand your guard be have your sword drawn you Capricorns you need to have your sword drawn because find the inner strength because it's a powerful week because people wants you you know you're thinking on Friday you know I should no don't leave do not leave I will stand with you do not leave whatever the situation is people are seeing that you're good People are seeing the positivity in you. People are seeing that you're intelligent. You are an intelligent person. People are seeing the potential in you. And people are creating other chaotic situation around you because they want you to move. You are... Um, you, it's as if they think that you are standing in their way or you, they're not going to have the fame. Now, if you need to do that and you need to create clear the situation around other people, this is saying a lot for you. So this week, what is this week for you guys? It's going to be a week where you're connected with your spirit guides and your angel. The magician is here. The eye princess is here. The, the empress is here and the emperor. Okay, there's a situation that a lot of you on Thursday and Friday is going to connect with your parents. Please connect with your parents whatever the situation is going on please connect with your parents whatever your financial needs whatever is happening around you open your up yourself and know that the universal angels are working with you call upon them in this week because the magician is here for to help you on Monday on, on, on uh, Tuesday you have the eye princess on Wednesday you have the Queen of Cups on Thursday you have the Empress on Friday you have the Emperor and this is going to be wonderful. This is a situation that you're going to have with the two, the knights of of, of the knights of um, um, cups. But he's good. He's uh, you know he's good. He's, he's protecting you. Okay. 
All right, let's ask the angel what is the message for the Capricorn in the first week of September 2000 and angel uh, 2017. Choices, choices. Next week, you this, you know, this week you have to do choices, new, newness. Six and four is ten. One and uh, six and four is ten. Choices, choices, uh, choices. I have choices. And I have honesty whatever is happening for some people you need to make choices some people you need to be honest about a certain situation and if you look at the numbers is 46 and uh, uh, is 10 and um, 2 and 6 is 8 you know you have to make choices and you have to be honest to yourself make choices and be honest to yourself okay whatever is happening let's look at because yeah, you really didn't have any numbers it, it is all about this week you have the number two energy so number two is going to be your energy vibration for this week the number two is going to be the energy vibration for you guys in this week number two whatever is happening do not be frustrated do not walk away from your work this is very important for me to tell a lot of people out there I know someone have been creating karmatic situations in at your workplace a lot of people do not walk away from it it is a way of you of getting rid of you because they realize the potential that you have and you're about to climb a ladder in your life do not leave your work okay let's look at what is going on what does the energy of the light workers have for you Capricorn the energy of the light workers this is what I'm working with what does the energy of the light workers have for the Capricorns so, an invitation to connect Wow okay okay alrighty Damas and herons, I didn't read your message from the wisdom of the houses. Let me see because these are new. So I like to read the messages when these are new. When I get used to them, then I connect with my guides and angels to bring out the message. Okay, choices for some Capricorns. Every choice you make has a consequence, even your thoughts are like magnets, drawing experience to you for the good for all the bad so it says again every choice you have there is a consequences even your thoughts are like magnets drawing experience to you for the good or for the bad okay so be aware of the choices and it says uh, do you know the story of the wings immortal in the house of the night who had to choose between the dark and light and God knows people mm -mm -mm. Damn, ladies and gentlemen I have been going through this but anyway do you know what the choices are right now you're faced with such a choice all you need to do is to ask is this for the highest good the choice you make will be an important step in your life lessons remember if even not deciding is a choice what will it be choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you and the other card was honesty and let's see what our honesty has to say I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen your reading is always a little bit drawn up because you Capricorn seems to be having a lot of connection with the spirit world darlings so yes it's a, yeah <laughs> okay honesty my darling you have chosen the symbol of uh, clarity and true communication now is the time to be absolutely honest with yourself about what you want what you're thinking about what your motives and real feelings are honesty is the way to truly step into your power when you choose honesty about all else as your goddess I will send you courage to do what is right this is also a time to demand honesty and integrity from others 
so if you in this week do not trust someone call upon the universal angels and ask them to let that person be honest and have integrity towards your relationship with them you have a right to get clear message there is the greatest freedom and power in telling the truth and this is true because a lot of people don't tell the truth so there we are let's go and let's see you have been blessed you Capricorn with a wonderful invitation an invitation to connect so your masters and spirit guides the universal angels are calling upon you and asking you to connect with them so you can say I, I, I accept the invitations to connect to my mighty I am present self my angels and guides um, the universal uh, you know I just had Lady Nada so um, connect uh, with Lady Nada to you Capricorn so an invitation to connect love exists through our universe many loving beams that do not belong to the human races exist in the world beyond the earthly realms among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to keep us move forward unlike these who close their minds because they are fearful of the unknown you have an open mind and an open heart receptive and a receptive art beams from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditional loving assistance in this world you will both benefit from this individual and help the planet so you are being offered an invitation to connect and this is wonderful so for you people out there what this is saying is that universal being beyond this planet and beyond this thing there I've been seeing you and looking at you and realize and they're inviting you to connect and this is how I connect with also my guides and the universal angels and being because sometimes um, they ask um, um, to come in so that they can bring out their messages and um, what they're saying to you guys is to connect with them because they have a message for each and every person out there you can connect with these um, intergalactic beams intergalactic beams they told me the right name um, call up and ask to be connected to the intergalactic and beams who are helping you and they will come in and help you with whatever situation they can help you with so ask for help I'm asking for help with my inter uh, I'm calling up on my intergalactic and beams and I'm asking for help with the situation that I'm dealing with with my work with my home with my home situation heal my situation with my financial help I'm calling up on the intergalactic and beams and universal beam to step in and help me to step in my horror and walk with me and protect me and heal me whatever that is for you ask them and it shall be done it's nearly 30 minutes i want to say namaste until next time